Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building the Bell X1 rocket airplane in Minecraft. Alright, so here we have a an orange beast of an airplane. Uh, if you haven't heard of it before, uh, you should uh, really check out the story of this thing. Uh, it is very interesting. Uh, as I said before, this is the Bell X1. Um, and uh, it is the first airplane that uh, ever uh, got over the sound barrier uh, so the, f the first uh, supersonic flight was done in this thing um, so the uh, this plane was developed right after the war or uh, even in the later stages of the war um, and uh, in uh, in 47 uh, it uh, made its uh, first supersonic flight uh, with uh, um, the pilot uh, Chuck Yeager uh, and that's quite famous um, there's also a movie um, related to that um, so anyway um, that's how I uh, really got to know this plane and uh, I re it really uh, sort of uh, caught my attention so uh, it's sort of um, like conventional subsonic airplane technology mixed with a, a rocket engine and uh, it it provides an opportunity to go supersonic because it doesn't have a piston engine but also it makes it extremely dangerous and hard to uh, hard to fly uh, when uh, it reaches a, a high speed uh, so uh, there were uh, four of these built um, there were a couple of them crashed I'm not sure uh, probably one or two uh, of them crashed um, so uh, anyway um, long story short uh, they finally got the um, uh, over the uh, limit uh, the speed limit uh, of the sound uh, with this thing uh, and um, that's why it is so significant and very cool. Um, I'm not quite sure why they chose the uh, orange. Um, this is, by the way, how it looked, how the um, the airplane that first got uh, over the sound barrier looked. It was like this orange color, um, and it was named Glamorous Glennis after Jaeger's wife. Um, I believe uh, this is just my my guess that it is of course for uh, more visibility of the plane because uh, I'm not sure how they did the actual flight um, but I'm fairly certain that they had some uh, observers on on the ground and possibly some uh, some flying in the planes alongside I don't know exactly uh, but I believe this is just for visibility so they know uh, a bit more uh, what's going on uh, with the plane because they didn't have anything else back then they only had radio and like eyes so that's that's pretty much how it goes uh, so anyway as I said before this thing is a rocket propelled uh, airplane um, and uh, it is uh, very interesting as I said before it is sort of a mix between a, a conventional um, piston engine uh, aircraft and uh, a, a supersonic airplane you can see that with the uh, straight wings um, as you probably know straight wings are not very appropriate for uh, very fast airplanes but they didn't know that back then I guess um, they just had to develop it um, so anyway uh, it is uh, a quite an interesting shape uh, it is very rounded uh, now of course I couldn't really make it um, uh, as streamlined as it is in real life um, because of limitations of on uh, how how small I can make things uh, with some details in Minecraft but I think it looks pretty um, accurate um, so semi accurate at least uh, and uh, so anyway, um, you may be wondering how this thing was actually launched, um, if it was a rocket plane. Well, it was actually dropped from a, a modified B-29 bomber. So they, they took off the bomb bay um, doors and uh, I guess um, 
a, a, a large chunk of the bottom of the B29 and they grafted a, a thing to it so they could drop uh, this plane uh, down from it. Uh, so what they would do is they would take off with the B29, get to some altitude and then drop this thing um, and then the pilot would engage the rocket engine and uh, propel himself to um, incredible speeds. So anyway, um, that's pretty much enough chatting from my side for now, uh, so let's go ahead and start the build. Now before we start I should also say that I've changed the dimensions of this slightly, uh, so it's not uh, directly one block equals one meter, uh, because I had to make it a bit larger in order to um, make it not look weird, um, because of just like Minecraft I guess. So uh, I've gone, uh, I've gone to the length of making it a bit longer. So now it's 12, it's 12 blocks long, uh, and it should be like uh, 10, um, 9 point something meters long, I think. And um, I've increased the wingspan also with that uh, by uh, one block. Uh, so I've gone to 11 blocks um, is the total wingspan, and the height uh, is five blocks. Uh, so that's um, that's pretty much that. I'm gonna build the second one uh, just just the same like that, and uh, let's go ahead and start. So of course, as always, I'm gonna start with the landing gear, and uh, we're gonna put it right here. I reckon uh, not too close to the B1. Okay, that should be fine. I reckon. All right, and then uh, we've got uh, another brick fence there. We've got some slabs on the bottom and we have another another big fence with some more landing gear um, to either side there we go and then we're gonna build a fuselage so we're gonna go one block out from the front we're gonna add an end draw to the to the very tip and then we're gonna um, expand it out here like so and then we're just gonna Continue this. This is gonna be. This is gonna go all the way to the uh, to the to the end to the rocket engine tail bit. Um, and this is gonna go to around here. So that would be like uh, eight blocks and the same on this side. There we go. And then uh, we're gonna have the uh, cockpit glass. Uh, now, as I said before, this is quite a an interesting design. Um, the cockpit glass is unlike um, unlike any from like modern fighters. Uh, it's just it's interesting. It looks like a, a bomber sort of style um, like that. Uh, it's quite interesting. Um, and uh, they changed that in the later iteration. Uh, this plane had another iteration of it. Uh, they had they g they went for uh, slightly more uh, something like we see today in uh, in fast fighter jets and stuff like that. Um, uh, so anyway, that's that's quite interesting uh, how the evolution sort of uh, goes. Um, that's always very interesting for me. Uh, so we're gonna have some black carpet in the middle here. Uh, this is gonna be uh, in order to place a uh, an orange one on top, like so, and then we're gonna uh, uh, erect some of the sides here, like so, and on the other side as well. Uh, so we have like four blocks here and over there as well. So we have the front of our fuselage here, um, and then uh, we're gonna reduce it here, uh, like so, and then just extend it all the way to the tail, and. Uh, that's pretty much it, the bottom part of our fuselage. As you can see, this is not a very complex um, build, uh, or a very complex airplane for that matter. Uh, it's just a, a big rocket engine strapped to a small, um, weirdly sh egg-shaped egg uh, sort of airplane. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're gonna add some more orange blocks there. and. Um, uh, the carpet's gonna go on top, 
Uh, now also you can you can pretty much make this in any color if you don't like the ridiculously orange um, how this looks uh, because I'm fairly certain that previous ones previous to this one they had uh, them different color I don't know what they were probably like gray or just metallic probably uh, just aluminum not painted um, or I should say aluminium uh, so anyway we got this thing here and uh, we need to build the tail fin uh, so that goes on top like that um, they had uh, uh, quite a, a lot of trouble uh, with control at high speeds with this airplane um, but of course they didn't know how to design a supersonic airplane um, so uh, I didn't know this but all of the uh, supersonic planes today have um, a tail fin that moves entirely uh, other than uh, rather than just a um, uh, control surface on the back that moves separately uh, and that apparently helps them uh, uh, sort of maneuver in supersonic flight as well uh, whereas with a fixed um, a fixed delphin and just a control surface they, they couldn't really do that uh, so they, they uh, sort of figured that, that out with this airplane uh, so that's kind of cool. So anyway, uh, we've got uh, some uh, uh, horizontal stabilizers at the back, and I'm going to cover them with some uh, carpet as well as the wings uh, later on. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much the tail. Uh, let's put on the rocket engine um, emulation thingy. Uh, if you look at the the real the real one. The rocket engine is sort of at the bottom there, it's got four ports, um, so I'm going to try to make it look like that if I can. There we go, and uh, fix that hole, there we go. And uh, we're going to also um, do the wings, of course, so the wings are going to go uh, right on top on here so right on top of the, of the rear uh, landing gear and uh, the the wing is four blocks or four slabs uh, in each in each uh, direction on each side so four here and then we have an end rod at the very end uh, and uh, some carpet it's gonna cover it and make it look semi um, the same as the, the fuselage color and then of course we're gonna need another wing at the other side uh, so four and four and then we have an end rod at the end very appropriately covered with orange carpet and um, I reckon that's pretty much it uh, I put a uh, actually I can do I can do that on this one as well I put a uh, I tried to put a um, a star on the other one, uh, just like the American um, airplane or Air Force symbol, I guess it's called. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. Uh, it's just like a, a white star on a blue background, and uh, it's just a, a sort of a markation. All of the planes had them um, back in World War II. Uh, all of the different countries had their markations, so they would know. Uh, if the airplane is hostile or friendly I guess um, so the way I did them was with a, a, a thingy a nether star and I put that in an item frame on top of a blue block uh, and that's just to sort of uh, emulate that um, the real one looks much nicer but I can't really do that in Minecraft so this is pretty much the best I can do here uh, but I think it's pretty good uh, so anyway I think that's pretty much it for this X1 uh, a very interesting airplane you should read about it if you are interested uh, in some more detail uh, but I think that's pretty much it from my side so uh, thank you very much for watching if you like this video you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also check out my other year, other videos, um, in between those you will find some on some other experimental aircraft uh, as you can see here and uh, I will see you next time.